Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we're going to be talking about Marlo and her mother. Okay? Marlo Hampton and her mama, Miss Emma. Okay, I can kind of see a little bit now why um, Marlo can be cuckoo for, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at times. It's stemming from my eyes from her childhood. Yes, her childhood. Then Marlo says she left her house at 10 or 14 years old. Where did she go? Did she go to the uh, fam children and family services? Did she find her way down there? Or was she living on the street? Which one was it, guys? Help me to the T. Okay, I'm not really sure. But um, Marlo is manifesting some hatred and some abandonment and some love issues when it comes to herself as well as uh, directed more so to her mother. Because her mother wasn't there for her. Now, Marlo, I'm going to say it like it ITS is. You don't get a pass on disrupting everybody else's life that you come in contact with just because you have mama and daddy issues or family issues all together. A lot of people are out here with the same issues. I didn't have my dad in my life. Nope, did not. But my mama, her sisters... Her uh, brothers, the whole family helped my mom when it came down to either financial issues or just being around us and giving us that father type mentality when it came to our uncles, uh, her, her brothers. So, and I didn't lose my mind. Was I upset? Hell yeah. At my daddy. Because he wasn't dead. He was just running around here acting like a, a rolling stone. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat was his home. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all know the rest of the song. I think with Temptations that brought that song out, hit straight to home for me. Because I could identify. I could identify. And that's around the head two stepsisters okay and he did the same damn thing to them and he was living in the same state okay yes all right he was a preacher's kid and do i need to say anymore yes my grandfather his father on my dad's side was a very very known well-known uh preacher in alabama Tuskegee is what they call it. All right, but that's neither here nor there. We're talking about Marlo, not me sharing my stories. Why does this thing keep blinking on like this? Okay. And um, just give you just some backstory that I can too identify. And I did not treat people the way Marlo is treating people. And I really believe the reason why her and Kenya can't get along, they're both Aquarius. And Aquarius don't bow down or beg or borrow or any of those things, okay? They are two headstrong individuals. And when you have them going at each other or you're having them in the same room, there's going to be issues. There's going to be issues because they don't know how to cancel each other out or how should I say? Uh, let me see compliment one another okay now aquarius are very very strong headed individuals as well as they're true to themselves and they're true to what they see or what people give them even though they know they can look beyond that sometimes aquarius just take people at face value and they get the hell on okay now marlo has a very strong hatred 
for her mom. Her mom didn't come get her when she left home, I guess, and got her either into the streets or she was raised by the uh, foster system, foster care system. But all of that is is what it is, okay? Now, I don't know if Marlo has some bad horror stories that she's just not letting out at this time. But Kenya and Marlo could be a force to be reckoned with because they have so much in common, especially with the mama issues and uh, just life in general. You know what I'm saying? Mama messed up Marlo. True that, true that, true that. And I think the reason why Marlo don't like Candy is because Candy has a very strong, undeniable relationship with her mom. And hey, if it, if it really had to come down to it of her choosing her mom over her husband, let's just say, without a doubt, she would choose her mom, okay? That's why I said something just ain't good with... um. Todd and Candy these days. A lot of people want to believe it is, but I'm the type of person I see beyond what is not being told, okay? Because uh, even with this particular episode that I'm going to do on Candy right after I finish the, this one with Marlo, it's some issues there. It's some issues. It's some issues. But we're talking about Marlo. So we, I can see why she don't like Candy because she's jealous of Candy. She wish she had what Candy has in her mom. Reason why she don't like Kenya as much. Uh, that's the scene I'm gonna talk about in the next video. Uh, Kenya is just too much like her, and they're very headstrong, and they know how to get what they want out of a situation. So when you have two button heads, two Aquarius like that, they will cancel each other out instead of flourishing. Instead of um, what do you call it? Giving in to another Aquarian, which that can be true uh, at times. You know, we, we can sit there and take the back brunt of things if it's meant for somebody else to shine. Because we're not jealous-hearted people, really. We're not. Uh, we just, when we feel it, it's our time to shine, we're going to shine. Regardless of what other people are going to say or do or whatever. I believe that's why um, they can't get along. It's because they are two strong-head Aquarian women. Okay. And they're working on the same show. And they're trying to definitely stay on this show. So ratchetness has to meet ratchetness. Okay? Because that's all Bravo Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise is all about. But getting back to Marlo and her mom. I got to say Marlo mom is a G. Anybody that done messed up her teeth or done lost her teeth and still come out there <laughs> and show and prove. That woman's that woman got me in her book. I'm all good with Marlo mama. I am all good because that woman know who she is and she had some problems with substance abuse and things of that nature i can't identify but i can empathize um you, you know you just get out there from what they said you get hooked and you just can't well i guess i can't identify with her because i have a problem with emotional eating and anything that upset at me and or i'm just not feeling my situation at the time whatever i will emotional eat so that's a trigger for me. So, um, and probably a lot of other people too. Um, let me see. Where I was going with this. <laughs> we were talking about Marlo. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, Marlo just don't want to, she don't want to get up, get, a, get her mama up a, a reprieve. She just want to say, you did this to me, you did that to me. Well, have we ever thought about Marlo to think about what your mama went through? What she's still going through? So evidently, she has a fetish with men doing her wrong, okay? And maybe that's why you ain't got no man, because you're too scared a man going to do you wrong, and you're going to end up like your mother. That may be the issue. So when you go over there and get counseling for your uh, nephews and yourself, get some counseling for your mama as well. Be uh, better yet, you see what Quadra, her mama doing over there on Married to Medicine? How she got her mom living with her and helping her take care of grandson and nephew you see what i'm saying good 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 thing you might need to be uh you might need to go see quad and see how she's faring over there and see if, if it's uh a test to be uh tested in your home maybe if you're so ready for your mom to change and you want to have a better relationship with your mom what better way to live under the same roof and you can watch her and her comings and goings to see if she actually is showing improvement with this counseling thing that you want to partake in with her 
okay so um i did have a, a little audio here that we can definitely uh listen to um to help us on our little merry way on trying to figure out this this stuff going on with marlo and the hatred she has for how her mama abandoned her and how she's treating other women uh within the group because of her background story which you know it's that same adage again of a person hurt each other that has been hurt and that is so very much so true but you know for her mama to come on the show be vulnerable and let Marlo say whatever she wanted to say about her, about what she didn't give Marlo, and still be ready to stand with her and say, you know, I still want you in my life. You know, that's a strong ass woman. So I could see where Marlo gets her strongness from and her, uh, what do you call it? Her tenacity f for, from. Because Marlo, instead of her choosing kids, uh, to be a part of her life, meaning her own biological children, she doesn't have much of a life other than fashion. So you see how Marlo just picked up and made a baby out of fashion in her world because she didn't have anything far as somebody to love and care about, I guess is where I'm going with it. But let's listen to what she and her mother is talking about on yesterday's show of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You see what you're no, 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 no. That upsets me. That should not upset that you. Upsets that upsets me. Upset and you. you don't get it. You don't get it. You're just now coming back around me for three days. And you said, can you bring a man around? A man who's on drugs. A man who can't. Don't get on drugs. You always worried about a man. I think that's why I don't have a man. The boyfriend has always been a trigger for me with my mom. And I've only had bad experiences with her, with men. What is it where you got to have Mala, a man Mala, so Mala, bad? Mala. Her not giving me the attention that I feel that I need because I have to share it with the man. Mala, the man I've been with the man for what four years. What does he years. do for you? He ain't brought four your years. house? Does he have hey, a job? Hey, baby, come over here. Please to meet you, sweetheart. How you I'll doing? Come on, give me a hug. I'm glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. I'll be right there. I'm glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Oh, oh, beautiful. Yeah. I'm okay. I'm going to get us a drink. I'm going to You okay? Yeah. No. You all right? Yes, I'm all okay. I'm good. I wanted this to be a happy moment, Candy meeting my mom. I wanted her to walk into us being happy and laughing and, you know, her just getting to know my mom. Well, Milo, hold up one minute. Well, I mean no harm. I'm, I'm sorry for cutting y'all off. Well, Milo, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you cry, and I tell him no, he can't come around. All right. Thank you. Anyways, I'm sorry. <laughs> you look so pretty. Well, thank you. You always look so rich and pretty. Hey, that's What is that, Milo? Uh, Philly cheesesteaks, and you have uh, salmon. Salmon and Philly yep, cheese right those are salmon. Salmon and drink for beef me. here. This is good. Marlo has said, you know, she told us a lot about you over the years, and so it's just a pleasure getting to meet you in person. You too. Because I just feel this one to let you know more about me. How old were the kids when you started using drugs? Okay, Marlo was about seven. I was strong enough to accept what had happened in my life because I was so traumatized. My mother can be very opinionated, and we bump heads a lot, but I wouldn't trade her for the world, and I know I can always count on my mom. And to see Marlo and her mom trying to make things right, it makes me appreciate my mother even more. I was a CNA today. If I'd have stayed in that career, I'd probably been an RN or a nurse. Oh, you was a nurse when you were Yeah, young? I was good at what I did. Have y'all ever thought about doing counseling together? Oh, yeah. We definitely need that. that. Yeah, now, my mama tried to do that one time. I got cussed out. I'm not going to curse y'all because I'm not going to stoop to that level. Yeah, that ain't me no more. Yeah. I ain't, ain't nobody going to push me to that level. I ain't went that down. Oh, okay. I don't want every time you call me, it's about money. Everyone in my family assumes I'm a money tree. They just see me as a bank. And as soon as I say no, I'm the bad person. I have prayed and cried for so many days and so many years. Why Marlo won't come around me for Christmas? But Marlo never missed a gift or anything. Yeah, but money. still, that don't mean nothing. Oh, well, let me stop that. Any time okay, with my That's child. That's what I feel. I didn't never tell you not to come to me. You are oh, the you center of all of our okay. issues, No, Marla. Let's be real. But, now, this, that, this. Now, last night, now, you want to know what was said. I was I said, listening. I said, Crystal, why should I ask Marlo? Should I 
bring my friend around me. You see what you're saying? No, no, no. And that upsets me. That shouldn't upset that you. That upsets that me. Upset and you. you don't get it. You don't get it. You're just now coming back around me for three days, and you're saying, can you bring a man Not around, a man who's on do. drugs, a man who can't, don't got a pop to be sent. You always worried about a man. I think that's why I don't have a man. The boyfriend has always been a trigger for me with my mom. And I've only had bad experiences with her with men. What is it where you got to have mala, a man mala, so mala, bad? Mala. Her not giving me the attention that I feel that I need because I have to share it with the man. Mala, the man I've been with the man for what four years. What does he do years. for you? He ain't bought four your years. house? Does he have hey, a job? Hey, baby, come over here. Please to meet you, sweetheart. How you doing? Come Okay, and now you can see why Marlo is somewhat the way we picture her as being just evil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I can see that her mother definitely needs counseling and some other type of resources to build her back up. Because her self-esteem is, when it comes to understanding what's hurting Marlo, um, she needs some more work. It needs some work. They need to go to counseling and uh, set out a plan of action of how they're going to go going forward. And for them to stay away from each other's triggers, try to acknowledge them, try to give empathy, try to get sympathy, and try to move forward without either one of them traumatizing the other. Because I, when, you know, Marla was expressing her opinions about why you got to have a man around you, da -da 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 -da, that's probably why I ain't got a man. And that's probably is true, my love, because you got too much into how your mama treated you and you tried to foster this big wall uh, of I don't need a man. I'm going to get all this stuff by myself and I'm going to be good. I might have a companion here and there, but I don't want a man. You know what I'm saying? That's basically how she built her life and built that wall around her to uh, protect her because she saw how a man abused her mom and men have abused her for so long she don't want to end up like her mom so she threw more uh, so or got more so into fashion and clothing and she wanted to be known for that okay and um ain't nothing wrong being a fashionista but can you afford it can you afford that type of lifestyle because a lot of people have said, you know, Marlo was, was a high price, well, a high paid uh, escort. And she usually used to be hanging around rich, older white men who had money, who didn't mind taking care of her, who didn't mind uh, putting in her bank account, just as long as she spent a little time with them here and there. And hey, if it is true. Um, no sense of being shamed, shaming about it. Because nine times ten, she probably wasn't having sex with them or anything. She probably was spending time with them. Let's give her that benefit. Okay? So, and, but what I hear from Marlo's mom, who's definitely in her senior years, uh, she's saying she's been with this man for four years. And, you know, I'm like, you can't make up with a man. You can't make no excuse because this man ain't got you in a house. If he's not paying bills, if he's not taking care of you, his queen, then I'm with Marlo. You just uh, being a habit for a man and taking and being abused by a man by him using you. Not necessarily saying he's sexually abusing you or he's physically abusing you, but not giving you the type of love and respect that you deserve i mean is he bringing these illicit drugs around you when he know you have a problem you have a concern with that but yet he still do it to keep you on the level where he's at so that's something they really have to sort out uh because it is better to be alone than me with somebody who's gonna definitely destroy you and 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 uh tend to te uh tend to um treat you bad so, I can see both sides from Marla's side as well as uh, the mother's side. But if they want to have, if they are really truly wanting to be in each other's life and they want to have a daughter mother relationship going forward, they got to stop paying attention to the past. They got to forgive each other for the past. Okay? It, it sounds harder than it is. Trust me, I know. If you don't let go of the past, you will never be able to live your future and your present. So, Malo and the mama got to forgive all that and move forward and never bring it back up. You know, to attack one another with it when they feel like one person's not doing what they should be doing. Or they say they wasn't going to be doing. 
so yeah uh i can identify a lot more with marlo after seeing her mom and the things that she probably had to go through because of her mom lackness of treating her daughter right and uh, raising her correctly and giving her um rules to live by that are uh, fostered in truth you know uh like good moral um attitudes being helpful to other people uh giving to other people who's less fortunate those type of things to make you build better character for yourself because i'm telling you once you give you're gonna get it back and it's gonna probably be at the the uh, worst time of your life and somebody's gonna be done put a blessing on you because you put a blessing on somebody before um I guess you start having your troubles in life. But I, like I said, my little mom is a G, honey. Anytime you can come up there and sit in your shit and say, yeah, I did that. I'm sorry. Da, 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 and then come with no teeth. Girl, she's a winner in my book all day long. She is a winner in my book all day long. Because, honey, yes, I have went out without my teeth, too. It feel better, you know, especially if you got these, like, sores with the, um, we call it the acrylic, not, yeah, the acrylic piece that sits on your gum when you don't eat, like, real uh, crunchy type foods like if you were eating on a, a peanut or you know crunchy chips uh anything real crunchy when it goes the plate hits down on your um gum it can uh build a sore so i understand i understand i understand honey but <clears throat> she has a beautiful spirit and she is a beautiful woman uh <clears throat> she is coming to realize how bad she's hurt marlo uh, but Marlo got to be the burden of carrying a lot of the weight on her as far as forgiving, you know, because at this time, uh, when her mother seems like she's in her senior years, she needs to be helping her mom, you know, but I understand, check the environment before you start uh, giving her a lot of blessings, you know, getting her a house. I think she said she had gave her mom a house once before with the two nephews were uh, living with her and a lot of whole shit went down where her mom was still using and whatnot and uh it was just a hot mess you know so i thought oh, okay okay i can see where mama going with this that it that can be kind of you know disheartening and you don't want to be taking care of somebody that's taking care of somebody else and letting them do all kinds of shit in the house that you provided for them so i understood that i understood it well but you might have to be on that part with this new house you're building marlo get her a room let her know no you can't have nobody come see you far as a man until we work some stuff out and it better not be the man that i've already seen you with you know what i'm saying unless he's going to therapy and he's getting something but yeah we don't need to have a man come live with you when i'm already taking care of you i can see your point marlo but she needs to have a life if she likes a companion then he can be able to like you know they're dating again like when we were in high school you know 10th 11th 12th grade how your suitor would come over and see you and sometimes they would take you out that's where it needs to be especially if you know your mom is not the type that can go out there and get a house or apartment on her own and she she would struggle yes bring your mother into your new digs that you're going to be getting next year and show and prove marlo show and prove because at this time your mother's at the state and the age that she's going to need you to provide more for her than she can probably provide for herself Okay, and that's just me on the outside looking in. Maybe mama, grandmama can get it done. I, I can do it all, you know. But get your shit straight with your mama, Marlo. Either you're going to be in her life and y'all going to work it out and you're going to forget about the past, okay? I ain't saying, you know, you're going to forget about it, but forgive the past. That's what I meant to say. Because it's hard for you to forget things that were really done to you in a bad way i'm like girl was you mess with honey did somebody you know m you you know est it mo est it you know what i'm saying you're going you see where i'm going with it did somebody do that to you because if they did you need if they still living you need to go make peace with them too and probably see i mean the statue of liberty uh the statue of limitations probably had expired but you can definitely let people know about that person mm-hmm so you can forgive yourself for blaming yourself for that situation if it ever happened, of course. But, uh, yeah, I can see the reason why she don't care too much for Kenya and she don't care too much for Candy. And is it acceptable? No, because we got to learn from our mistakes and move on and recognize what we're doing 
prior to it becoming a problem. You know, Candy can't help. She had a good mom uh, that was always there for her. And Candy can appreciate it because she buys her in and everything, which you should. You know what I'm saying? If your parents were the bomb and they treated you, you know, and gave you, you're supposed to return that favor when they get into their senior years. You see what I'm saying? But, uh, and if they've definitely taken care of their financial portfolio where they don't need your money, they definitely need your time. You know, sit and talk with them, see what's going on with them, and vice versa. But, y'all, that's all I have of this uh, situation with Marlo and her mama and what had aired to us on uh, Sunday's night episode, the finale. Um, I, sh- I wish they would have gave, or Marlo would have gave more of her mother at the beginning of the season and let us, you know, float through it. Because that would have been very, very good to see. And it wouldn't have been all this uh, backbiting she was doing with Kenya, she was doing with Candy. Uh, she was doing with Drew, you know, just, I mean, was it with Drew? I don't, hell, I don't know. I just know the two heavy hitters she was fussing with all day long was Kenya and Candy. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's all we got for this particular video. Make sure y'all get down on those comments. And if y'all got something to say, then say it. Speak on it. Uh-uh. Thank you. Uh, and that's all I got, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.